So, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use an Arduino to drive a larger load using a MOSFET. In this case specifically we're going to use an N-channel MOSFET. Now normally you can only drive 20 milliamps through an Arduino. With a MOSFET you can drive many amps and at larger voltages other than 5 volts. So let's begin. Now the symbol for an uh, in-channel MOSFET is normally a bit complicated. Uh, it, it normally resembles something like this. Okay, now this is the drain, this is the source and this is the gate. Now it's actually quite simple, uh, basically what this does is when you apply a voltage to the gate, these two are basically like a switch and they connect. So an in-channel MOSFET you normally connect the source to your negative pole or your ground and your gate you would have a voltage that goes through some resistor like a 10k that goes to your Arduino. The load you normally put between your positive voltage, which I'm just going to indicate through this, you'd normally connect your load between these two terminals, um, connecting the positive of your load to the positive rail and the negative of your load to the drain of the MOSFET. In my case, I'm going to power a strip of these LEDs. So for this, I'm just going to it's going to draw a box around it because it's a bit more complicated, but it's fine. This is the negative, that's a positive, and this will probably be 12 volts. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So with this design, just make sure that your Arduino uses the same ground as the MOSFET. Uh, otherwise it won't work. Now this is just a data sheet for one of the many transistors that I have lying around here. And this one is in a TO220 package. Now the only thing that's really important is to know which pin does what. We have the transistor here. This the leftmost one is the gate, the center one is a drain, and the rightmost pin is the source. And that is pretty much it. Now, if you're going to use an Arduino, the Arduino's maximum output voltage is 5 volts or 3.3 volts, depending on which one you use. Um, I'm just going to use a standard Arduino Nano, I think, and it has a 5 volt output. Now, a MOSFET. For it to turn on completely, you need to look at some of its charts. This is directly from the data sheet. Now, the only one you, you're actually interested in is the one that says gate to source voltage, because that is the voltage that you will apply, or that is the voltage that you will apply at the gate relative to the source. And in our case, we are only going to look at the 5 volts here. Okay, so since the Arduino is only going to output a voltage of 5 volts, we have to look at where the graph is. So in this case, at 5 volts, we can draw about 1, 2, 3, 4 amps. Don't worry too much about these graphs. I'm going to show you an easy way to get out which MOSFET to use. So in this circuit, pretty much what I did is I took a, a potentiometer, connected that through a 10K resistor. You can pretty much use any resistor. Connected that to the gate of the MOSFET, the MOSFET's ground to the negative, to the negative 
um, with potentiometer to the negative and this I connected to 12 volts drain and source so the point of this circuit is to test which MOSFET can deliver the most current at 5 volts which is what we'll be using or at 3.3 so the point of a potentiometer is so that we can just set the voltage to whatever we want and yeah but you could also just use a linear regulator or just use the Arduino for that but I think it's much easier with a potentiometer pretty much all MOSFETs use this standard for the pinouts with the gate being on the leftmost pin now I've got a whole lot of transistors here and I'm going to show you now the best way to test which one will work best in your case so let's start with this one I'm just going to insert it and I'm going to turn on let's first check the gate source voltage 4.8 volts now as I adjust the voltage to above 5 volts you can see that the, that the LED strip doesn't draw more current as I go below 5 volts the current drops off quite quickly so we're just going to leave it at just below 5 volts 4.8 is about a nice voltage and we can see that a voltage of 4.8 on the gate is enough to drive the strip of LEDs at at about 560 milliamps now we can just remove this MOSFET we know this one works quite well for the load we have we can just try random ones so next we're just going to choose one randomly see how that works this one works as well but with 5 volts at the at its gate it can only supply 330 milliamps which is less than the other one so this might not be ideal for our use case let's try another one this one also works but this one only this one supplies a bit more it supplies 450 milliamps at 5 volts and yeah just continue testing ones until you get something that works for you this one as well is 33 milliamps don't worry too much if you use the wrong type of transistor at all this is a TIP 32C, which is a PNP transistor, if I'm not mistaken. If you accidentally connect it, don't worry, um, nothing's going to happen. As you see, as I connect it, the LED strip draws no current, nothing gets hot, nothing blows up. It's pretty chilled. Let's put in different MOSFETs, see which ones work, which ones don't which ones give you the most current now of all the transistors that I tested this FP50N06 appeared to supply the most current at 5 volts now if we connect it it works pretty well now let's see what happens if we short it if we short the drain and source pretty much um, bypassing the transistor altogether then there is no let's put in this wire then there is no change in the current so that means this transistor is pretty much as efficient as it can be at this voltage which means this is ideal for the type of load that we are running now now these MOSFETs you can pretty much draw up to like 50 amps some of them but I recommend not going above 5 or 6 amps if you really need that much current then you might have to look at a different circuit or you might just have to add some a bit more a bit more protection circuitry for this to work properly but let's add an Arduino okay so the sketch I'm uploading is under, under examples, basics, fade so not only can we turn the LED strip on and off, but we can also fade it via PWM. I'll connect your Arduino via USB, connect the grounds, and connect pin 11, and upload the sketch.
as you can see, it dims the LEDs perfectly. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment and yeah, have a nice day.